Strong winds added to a large wildfire spreading across Grant County Sunday. More than a dozen families had to be evacuated as flames crept up on homes. THP 11's Jay Jackson met the people praising the heroes who fought the flames all night long. If you look over my shoulder, you can still see some smoke coming up from the ground where a lot of that fire ended up burning. Now I end up speaking with some people who are in and around where they had to evacuate and they're just happy that no one was hurt and nothing was destroyed. It was just kind of shocking because we didn't think it'd make it this far. We didn't know how bad it was coming down and seeing the extent of the damage is really shocking. Logan Ashlock is driving back to her home after evacuations kept her family away. She and her fiance were able to snap these pictures of the fire. Yesterday I was very frantic, um, calling people I knew, the neighbors with the horses having to walk them uh, beside the truck away from the home to evacuate. She says the smoke was everywhere. Nobody could see the road. The Grant County Office of Emergency Management says they're not sure what started the fire around noon Sunday, but crews fought it for 15 hours. In the last update, there were over 500 acres burned, but they believe there's more to be accounted for. It, it almost got the church. It was very close. Terry McNamara lives across from Corinth Missionary Baptist Church, which was able to be saved. Instead of evacuating, she just drove up the road to wait it out, worried about her home catching fire. But it but didn't. We were spared. They worked really hard. There was tons of volunteer people out here. Sheridan Fire Department says it's only volunteer firefighters over the weekend, and the community has been praising them on Facebook, saying they worked hard to adhere to their motto seen on the sign outside their offices. We don't stop when we're tired. We stop when we're finished. These people could have lost everything, and thankfully the county and everybody who came to help was able to save the things that meant most. In Grant County, Jay Jackson, THV 11 News. Good stuff, Jay. The Arkansas Forestry Commission is in charge now of figuring out the total number of acres burned.